Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to cover the chapter 1, Using the Shell. So, uh, using the shell, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the command aliases. We're going to talk also about commands that are built in shell. There are three types of commands. So, commands that are built in shell, commands that are external to the shell, and command aliases. Okay? So, basically, command aliases are uh, short names that you use your own, okay, to keep them brief and probably to remember them easily. Uh, and uh, the commands that are built in shell, for example, like cd, we'll uh, see that, demonstrate that in uh, terminal window. And also there are uh, external commands, okay, to the shell, okay. Uh, we will also cover basic command syntax, how to use commands in Linux, if you are new to Linux. We're going to talk about ls command for the content listing on Linux, listing contents of folders and so on. Um, we're going to also talk about the option, command and option, like the options used with ls using the man page or the manual page. And then finally, we are going to actually generate some information regarding the distribution that you are using. Okay, so uh, this course is um, the audience of this actually, uh, this course will be uh, dedicated for the LPIC 101 exam takers. If you are preparing for LPIC 101 exam or CAMTA plus Linux plus, okay, you could follow me. Okay, and um, after finishing the entire course, you could go and take the LPIC 101 or CAMTA plus Linux plus, which is the uh, most valuable certifications in the market. Um, if you are new to Linux and you are not a certification taker and you want to learn Linux, okay, for other purposes, for example, Internet of Things, you know, or DevNet or whatever, okay, Linux is very important. Uh, and you are new to Linux, this is the uh, course for you. So uh, just stay tuned and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So um, I'm gonna bring the um, my Ubuntu distribution, as you can see. And then I'm gonna maximize the window and first we're gonna mention a couple of things regarding the uh, shell or using the shell. So there are commands that I mentioned that are built in shell, for example, like cd, okay? So cd is command that's built in shell and cd stands for change directory, change directory. I could go to the parent directory, for example, with cd and dot dot, I can go to the parent directory. I can go to the other parent directory and then if I do pwd print the working directory, notice that I'm in slash root directory. This is the top root directory in Linux file system. Okay, uh, and to check if the command is built in shell or not, we could use the command type and then cd. Notice cd is built in shell. For example, let's say my command, um, let's say um, mkdir, for example, mkdir hashed user bin mkdir. So this is external to the shell and it resides in a binary file under usr bin okay, folder right there. We have also command aliases. So aliases basically are short names for commands. For example, if I create an alias, we could use alias, if you will, alias, and then the command that you want to use, or the short version of the command that you want to use. And then let's use D for date. I'm going to hit enter, and then if I type D, notice I can generate the date. Okay, and um, yeah, that's for the um, commands that are built in shell, commands that are out external to the shell, and the command aliases. So, um, using command line in Linux, okay, we can use the command, okay, followed by an option. 
Okay, the option is not all the time used. And then our units. Okay, and then a argument. Let's give a couple of examples regarding how to use the commands in Linux. You can use mkdir, for example, and folder one. Okay. So if I execute this command, notice that I can't do that because I need to be a root. Permission denied, which means you need to be a super user. I'm going to hit the up arrow to recall the command history. And then I'm going to hit Control A. Okay. Takes me to the beginning of the line and I'm going to insert sudo. Okay. Su for super user and do. Super user do. Okay. I'm going to hit enter. And then notice that the okay the directory is created for me okay folder called folder one right here okay so I can cd to folder one now notice that I'm using I mean folder one notice that I'm using the command without option and the argument is folder one right there okay. We can actually attach a file. So if you want to create a file, if you want to create directory, use mkdir make directory. If you want to create file, you are going to use attach and then file one, for example. Notice the permission. Okay, control A and then sudo to be a super user and execute the command. You could also use the sudo so. To be root all the time this is not recommended okay i'm gonna exit just for accidental deletion and precaution okay for a working system get used to use sudo instead of being the root all the time okay so um that's for the um command option argument so we didn't use any options till now so let's use one for example i'm going to use rm minus rf and then file 1 okay so if I do ls here notice that file 1 does exist okay file 1 right here if I want to remove file 1 from folder 1 okay I can use rm minus rf minus rf is the option then followed by the arguments file 1 okay of course I need to be a super user to do that and the file one is gone list okay or ls is for listing contents of a folder or a directory um yeah so uh, rm minus minus rf which is the option and the argument the r is for the recursive and f to force okay the removal because if file one has some contents it's not going to remove it unless you force it to do so. Or if you want to remove a folder, for example, and use just RM without option, it's not going to let you. Uh, if there are uh, folders or subfolders inside that folder, it's not going to allow you to remove it unless you force it. You force the removal with minus F. Okay. Yeah. Uh, talking about the ls command, ls command basically lists contents. Let's go to. Um, I'm gonna slash root or well, let's cd to home using the tilde i'm going to cd to home using the tilde here pwd so i'm in home dev asc right there that's my home directory so i'm going to use ls notice that i have a couple of folders okay desktop token download slabs and so on and I can use ls with a couple of options. For example, let's say minus a to include also the hidden files. So minus a will show me also the hidden files. Notice that the files that uh, have the dot in front of them, they are hidden files from accidental deletion, okay? And I can use also ls minus l for long listing. So you can see more information about the files okay so as you can see the desktop we have the type of directory this is d stand for type of the uh, file which is directory in this case we have the permission we have the user owner 
and we have the group, and then we have the size, and then timestamp, and the, uh, the file or folder itself, okay? We could also use ls minus r for reverse. As you can see, we list, if we do just ls, notice that it starts with a desktop. If we want to list with a reverse, notice that it's starting with snap, labs, downloads, and so on. Okay? We could actually use all those options at once. We could use a minus r minus l, okay? Or we could use a, r, l, for example, like this, okay? And notice that we are using a couple of options simultaneously, okay? And that's, um, uh, that's what I recommend, using a couple of options instead of dash, 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 and so on. If you uh, want to actually, you don't need to remember those options, because I'm going to show you the man page or the manual page, okay, followed by the command. You could use that all the time, that's your friend, okay? So, uh, for example, the ls, the name of the command, and what it does, how it's used, command option and file or argu argument, description, okay, and then the option. There are long options and there are short options. I recommend using, okay, the short options, okay? And so on. So the man page is your friend. You could use all the time man followed by the command. It will show you how to use the command, what the command does, and so on. I'm gonna hit Q to quit. Okay, so uh, we saw the basic command syntax and how to use the commands in Linux. We talked about ls. So um, now let's actually um, hit the uh, last last thing, which is generating information. If you want to know some information regarding your distro that you are running, you could use the uname, the uname command. And uname have a couple of options, okay? For example, uname minus A, it gives, you, it gives you all the information regarding the distribution. For example, this is the uh, kernel name, this is the host name, this is the uh, kernel version, as you can see. I'm running Ubuntu. Um, as you can see, the architecture, it's 3264-bit operating system, and so on. We could use other options, for example, uname minus r, this is the kernel version, you could go with s, that's for the kernel name, you could use n for the host name, and you could use uh, many okay, options with the uname. So, let's use the... Uh, the man page followed by the uname and you have all long list of options that you can use okay to generate information regarding distribution so i hope this has been informative for you guys and i would like to thank you and stay tuned and see you in the next video